Hi, my name is Josh Ryer. I'm the Director of Utility Programs and Initiatives here at the Connecticut Public Utilities Regulatory Authority. I'm going to provide a brief overview of the Energy Storage Solutions Program, effective January 1st of 2022. The Energy Storage Solutions Program is a new nine-year program with the goal of deploying up to 580 megawatts of electric storage throughout Connecticut. As you can see here, it's broken down into three three-year program cycles with different deployment targets. The, the target for the first program cycle is for the first three, year, three years of the program, 2022 through 2024, is 100 megawatts. For the next three years, it's 200 megawatts. And for the last three, three years, it's 280 megawatts. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the program will begin on January 1st of 2022, and it will be administered by a combination of the Connecticut Green Bank with your local electric utility company, either Eversource or United Illuminating, depending on where you're located. Just quickly as some background, Public Act 21-53 set a statewide deployment target for 1,000 megawatts of energy storage by, by the end of 2030 or by 2031. The second section of that Public Act actually authorized PIRA to establish the Energy Storage Solutions Program. In the establishment of that program, PIRA outlined and approved seven stakeholder vetted objectives. Uh, among those objectives are the four that are listed here. The first is to ensure cost effectiveness to all ratepayers. The second is to improve resilience to grid outages. In other words, uh, providing power to customers when the larger grid is out. Uh, the third objective listed here is to really focus on ensuring that we're deploying these storage solutions in the vulnerable communities that need them most. And then the last is to foster the sustained orderly development of the storage industry to ensure that we're receiving in-state economic developments from this industry. There are two portions to the Energy Storage Solutions Program. The first is an upfront incentive for deploying the storage device, and the second is a performance-based incentive for the first 10 years that the device is deployed based on certain parameters. Residential customers of, of either Eversource or United Illuminating, so the investor-owned electric utilities in Connecticut, are eligible for the incentives that are listed here. Uh, most customers are eligible for a, an upfront incentive of $200 per kilowatt hour, with a total cap on the project incentive of $7,500. In order to be eligible for the additional incentives that are listed here, you have to either meet a low income eligibility, which is 60% below of the state median income, or be located in an underserved community, which is, an, which is also defined as an economically distressed municipality as defined by Connecticut's Department of Ener uh, Economic and Community Development. Uh, in order to receive this upfront incentive, you have to agree to discharge the storage device evenly between 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. daily. For commercial and industrial customers or non-residential customers, and there's also an upfront incentive that's available, but it's a little bit different and it's based on the size of the, of the commercial and industrial customer. The different incentive levels are, are depicted in this table. It's $200, $175, and $100 per kilowatt hour. Uh, and the different sizes of these customers are, are listed as well, and they're based on the peak demand of the customer. There's also, uh, like the residential upfront incentive, there's also a total incentive cap of 50% of the total project cost. I, and again, similar to the residential upfront incentive, customers and devices are required to discharge or to provide energy to the system, to the, to the grid at large, evenly uh, across 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. daily. Okay, so getting to the performance-based incentives that I mentioned earlier, the electric distribution companies will send your storage device uh, an active dispatch signal one day ahead of any event that will occur between noon and 9 p.m. Over the summer, which is defined as June 1st through September 30th, the electric distribution company will send between 30 to 60 events. Over the winter, which is defined between November 1st and March 31st, 
the electric distribution company will send uh, between one and five price signals. The incentive that you see here for the first five years of the program, as well as the incentives uh, for the, the second five years or years six through 10, is based on the average performance of your system over the summer or winter period. So for example, if your system on average provides five kilowatts of power over the 30 to 60 price signals during a summer period, you would receive at the end of the summer period, roughly six weeks after uh, September 30th, a payment of, of five kilowatts times $200, as you see in the table. For the winter period, it's the same example. So say, for example, your system during the winter performs and provides on average 10 kilowatts per event. Then at the end of the winter series, the, the season, you would be provided with $250. For more information on these programs, we'd encourage you to visit the Connecticut Green Bank and the Electric Utilities dedicated web pages, which will be linked in this, this PIRO website. Uh, and for any additional questions, we'd also encourage you to contact the Green Bank, your electric utility, or PIRO's Consumer Affairs Division. Contact information for all three groups will also be included in this website.